MediaPipe is an open source framework developed by Google that offers customizable and efficient pipelines for building multimodal video, audio, and sensor machine learning applications. MediaPipe is particularly known for its real-time pose detection, hand tracking, and face detection capabilities, which are widely used in various computer vision applications. In this video, we will explore MediaPipe's pose estimation capabilities. Specifically, I will demonstrate how to detect human poses in images, visualize the detected landmarks, and analyze the depth information provided by MediaPipe. According to the Google AI MediaPipe solution documentation, the pose landmark model can detect 33 body landmark locations, including the nose, inner corner of the left eye, inner corner of the right eye, left foot index, and right foot index. These landmarks help identify the body's pose. Today, we are focusing on the landmark detection. Before we begin, ensure you have the following Python packages installed. OpenCV, MediaPipe, NumPy, and Matplotlib. You can install these packages using this pip command. I will explain this code that demonstrates the basics of MediaPipe's pose estimation. We start by importing the necessary libraries. Here, I have written a function to extract the original MediaPipe landmarks from an image. This function will load the MediaPipe pose model, perform pose estimation, and return a dictionary of detected landmarks along with their coordinates and visibility scores. I will use this function later, and its functionality will become clearer then. For now, all you need to know is that given the image data, the function returns the detected points of the body, using which one can draw the skeleton or the structure of the body. Next, I define a function to detect poses and draw the landmarks on the image. That is the function will draw the landmark points and draw a skeleton structure using points on the actual image. Here is an example of the drawn points and lines we will see soon. This function will also return a dictionary of landmarks and their visibility scores. The original media pipe landmarks are normalized based on the height and width of the image. That is, original landmarks are normalized between 0 and 1. This function brings the landmarks back to image pixel coordinates so that actual points can be drawn on the images. The function also draws lines for the skeleton. I have a parameter here named visibility threshold. I draw only landmark points that have visibility greater than this threshold. Media pipe provides a visibility score between 0 to 1 for each landmark point, 0 being the point is not visible at all, and 1 meaning the point is fully visible. The visibility score is more like how confident MediaPipe's model is about a detected point. Okay, the function returns an annotated image and a dictionary that has all the landmark points in Pixel's coordinate system. We load the image from the file. Here is the image file where a person is walking. Here we call the second function we wrote to detect and draw the pose on the image. Let's print the detected landmarks along with their coordinates and visibility scores. So these X and Y values are the points in the pixel coordinate system based on the image width and height. Also, the visibility score is provided for each point. I display the annotated image using matplotlib. The first function that we wrote, get landmarks from image, retrieves the landmarks including depth information or the Z coordinate. The function returns x, y, z, and visibility for all landmarks. The difference with the second function is that the x, y values are normalized, and we have the z coordinate in the first function. z is the depth of the landmark relative to the camera. The smaller the z value, the closer the landmark is to the camera. The magnitude of z uses roughly the same scale as x. The z values are usually normalized, but not directly proportional to real-world units like meters. Z can help understand the depth of the detected key points, which is useful for various applications like 3D pose estimation and augmented reality. Here, the left foot index has a negative Z value, and the right foot index has a positive Z value. So that means in the image, the left foot is closer to the camera, which is correct. Again, the smaller the Z value of a landmark point is, the closer it is to the camera. This capability of MediaPipe is amazing. Even without a 3D camera, we can get a computed 3D pose estimation. The X, Y, and Z values are respective to the person, not respective of image width and height, which makes the landmarks comparable from one image to another. Here I have my photo. Running the program, we have this annotated photo. 
In the photo, my right hand is closer to the camera compared to my left hand. Therefore, the Z values of the landmark points in my right hand should be smaller than the Z values of the landmark points in my left hand. That is evident in the Z values of the relevant landmarks. The left wrist has a larger Z value and the right wrist has a smaller Z value. My left pinky has a larger Z value and the right pinky has a smaller Z value. Similarly, the right index finger has a smaller Z value compared to the left index. The same trend is observed between the Z values of the right and left thumbs. That is, my right hand is closer to the camera compared to my left hand. Let us take a look at the foot. The right foot index has a smaller Z value compared to the Z value of the left foot index. That is, my right foot should be closer to the camera compared to my left foot. That is correct. These features become valuable in downstream applications. For instance, in sports analytics, coaches can use precise positioning data to analyze an athlete's posture and movements, helping to improve performance and reduce the risk of injury. In physical therapy, therapists can track a patient's recovery progress by comparing their range of motion over time, providing a quantitative measure of improvement. In virtual reality and augmented reality, these 3D pose estimations enable more immersive and interactive experiences. Furthermore, in robotics, understanding human pose and movements can be crucial for designing robots that can interact safely and effectively with humans. This is particularly important for robots in assistive roles, such as those used in healthcare or service industries. In animation and film production, Motion capture systems often require accurate pose estimation to create lifelike character animations. MediaPipe's ability to provide 3D pose data can significantly streamline this process, reducing the need for expensive and cumbersome motion capture suits. I will provide a link to the code in the description section. Hope to see you in the next video.